first got interested in guitar when I was about 12 years old. It just it became a bit of an obsession. I started an instrument building course when I was about 16 or 17 with Peter Kempster and I went to California and did a guitar building course over there and travelled around visiting factories and guitar builders. And uh, when I came home I was fortunate enough to be well, friends with Jim Redgate and Brian DeGrucci and I used to hang around at their workshops a fair bit and uh, learn as much as I could. I met Steve, uh, he gave me a phone call one day and wanted to buy some wood to build a guitar and it's just escalated from there, I mean we've had a close association ever since. This particular guitar is the first guitar I ever made. It's um, an Alaskan bear claw top. The back is Honduran mahogany. It's standing up okay. It's got a few design ideas that I wanted to use. And, um, you know, time has shown that it's worked well. Yeah, well, I've, yeah, I've played every guitar that he's built, actually, or all the acoustics, so... And, uh, yeah, he could always find something wrong with them. I thought they were pretty reasonable guitars, actually. But uh, doesn't take a lot of helping. He's pretty sharp, that boy. G'day Bill, didn't see you there. <laughs> cool, yeah, where'd you go? It's, it's, it's okay, there's a little bit of buzzing, but I think it's because you've only got about uh, four one thousandths of an inch relief in the neck and there's no truss rod. So if you wanted to make the guitar cleaner, you could probably go a heavier gauge string, if you can cope with it. This is Heather Fran. I made this guitar for her, she actually asked me to do it. And it's interesting because I went to see her perform at the Gov one night and I thought I'd love to make a guitar for her. She's got a fantastic sonorous voice. She's a, a great orator as well and she, her music really has a lot of content and meaning and it, it really carries something. She approached me and said she wanted um, me to modify a bass for her and put another neck on it and put some strings on it and make this sort of contraption I guess. What we decided to do in the end was build a guitar totally from scratch. So what we ended up with was an acoustic bass with two octave pairs that mimic in a way an octave bazooki. I met Brian first time in the 80s. He was working at a, a guitar dealership. I met him there, I kept asking him to show me how to do things and he kept going, yeah, 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 okay, but you know, that's what I do to people now, because you have to, because there's so many people who want to know exactly what you're doing. Uh, but we developed a, a relationship over time. Uh, I've been going to see him every week for 14, 15 years. Salvage. Groot, how's it going? Yeah, not bad. What are you up to? Just come for a visit. He's uh, a great inspiration. I mean, he's just, he's built 500 guitars, five or 600 guitars on a bench with hand tools. And every one I've played in the last 14 years has been a winner. He's amazing. He's an inspiration. I want to be like that. I want to be like Brian DeGrucci. When I was a kid, I used to listen to the old Hillbilly programs and that when I was allowed. And I always listened to the guitars. They fascinated me. So. The interest has always been there, but I thought I'd build myself a guitar and, and one for each of my boys, and that was sort of what started it. Notice my foot's going. Tommy Emanuel I'd met previous years through music and that. A friend suggested that I should, he had a concert in town and suggested that I should take a couple of guitars down for him to have a look at. So I did exactly that and uh, sat there for about two and a half hours waiting to see Tommy Emanuel. And finally this guy raced out and said, OK, he said, bring your guitars, come in, you've got five minutes. Anyway, about half an hour later I actually left. But uh, Tommy played played two guitars that I had there, Rosewood one and the uh, Maple Cutaway guitar that is actually on his instructional video. And he liked the Maple one and he actually bought it. 
and that was it. Took it with him. And, uh, boy, there's a lot of songs you can play with those three chords. <laughs> Casey, of course, I knew Casey Chambers when she was just a baby. Now, Casey is so small. So Nash came to me one day and said, you know, I think we should build Casey a small body guitar. Is that possible? I said, yeah, sure. And um, so we did. Dennis Tech was a founding member of Radio Birdman. He's a pretty seminal rock and roll guitar player. He's a bit of a cult figure. He's a uh, bass player and drummer, Godoy Twins, came up with a concept for a guitar which they drew on a napkin and they put it on their blog and uh, a friend of mine saw it, drew it up on Illustrator, sent it to me and said, why don't we do this? We did, now it's a signature series. Computer design, computer aided design is good because you can build the guitar on screen, you can see how it's going to look from every angle, you can see how the components are going to relate to each other. In the case of a guitar like the Dennis Tech guitar, which is essentially a flat top guitar, and then the necks I make by hand, of course. The computer design is uh, it's expedient. It's good. It, it makes me mildly competitive with some of the major manufacturers. I personally am not interested in CNC machines, etc. I love to build the traditional way. Some of my techniques came out of the arc and probably should have stayed there, but advanced technology, of course, has made things a lot easier. I mean, you've still got to put a guitar together and do all the work that probably really counts, but, you know, the guitar, the end guitar, the end product is still going to be the product of the ears and eyes and ability of the person to actually get the best out of the wood that they're using. myself in the future, I would like to just keep building, not on a big scale, small to medium. If I could employ some people in South Australia, that would be great. Building acoustic guitars, building my signature series guitars, nothing too stressful. Let's just keep it rolling.